Welcome to the Carl Jackson Podcast, Atlanta edition. Tonight's episode is going to be a great one. Atlanta. Let's go. Welcome to the Carl Jackson Podcast. We are in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, we've basically taken the podcast on the road, and it's been fun doing these podcasts on the road. I am in a nice, wonderful suite here uh, at an undisclosed location for now because I might want to use this place again, and so I don't want to have to say where I would be hanging out at. But um, yes, yeah, wonderful place here. The people here have been extremely nice to me. Wonderful hospitality. Uh, I am sitting in, I guess this would be the dining room slash game room. Uh, there's a kitchen over the other side of the suite. And then there's the bedroom far out there and that way and bathroom. And this is behind me is I guess the living area, if you will. And CJC is playing in the background right now. Uh, I don't know what movie that is per se. I think I know what it is, but um, anyway. So I wanted to show, showcase, uh, showcase. I always find one word that I mess up every podcast and I keep it in the podcast. I don't ever change it out or take it out because it's just real. I don't mind being real. So I wanted to showcase uh, a friend of mine who has a business and a company. Um, and she's all about holistics. She's right here in Atlanta. And you can actually purchase her products um, on her website. And I think also on Etsy. That's a big site that everybody goes to. Goes to. It's called Etsy. <clears throat> Etsy. Uh, so anyway... Um, she gave me some beard products. I'm, I love beard oils and balms and lotions and stuff. So I wanted to share that with you guys and show you what she gave me today. And then we're going to actually show you where she, in a few minutes, where she makes all this stuff. It's got actually kind of cool. So I have right here mahogany, tea wood, um bomb beard bomb right here you see that smells really great and just for the record if you have you can buy this stuff for your husband your boyfriend but she also have she also has products for women and products just for the family like candles um teas that she's getting ready to bring out a new tea line um and um sage and all type of other things that are holistic it's all made from scratch it's made in her laboratory and uh, look at that it's, looks really beautiful smells great it smells amazing so I can't wait to put this on my face and then she also gave me um Okay, I think this, yeah, this is the, the oil that goes with it. You can use, you can use it separate as well. Um, and look at the ingredients. The ingredients in this stuff is just... <laughs> okay, so you have almond oil, um, coconut oil, avocado oil, and premium fragrance. Let me tell you something. Something about premium fragrance is, is a great thing, okay? Smells amazing. Oh my god. It's just can't wait to try both of these. Um taking a little break so that the women that are watching me can feel like this show is also for them. There is a bath and body hair massage oil. You can pretty much use it all over your body. It's a pumpkin pie, right? Pumpkin pie. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why would you put pumpkin pie over your face, over your body? Um, well, actually, 
all these things are actually natural for your body. You know, I mean, we are made, we're creatures who are made to use natural products. <laughs> you know, we're not really made to use products that are synthetics, that are synthetics are things that will actually harm our bodies. Uh, one of the things that we talked about uh, when I was in her lab was that uh, a lot of companies, most companies use fillers that are basically bad for your skin, bad for your body. And then they put, you know, scent, scented, whatever, all over that filler. So you're thinking you're buying something that's healthy, but you're buying something actually that's trash. Okay, so this pumpkin pie, uh, the ingredients in it is a um, special blend of almond, avocado, macadamia nuts, sesame seed oil, and premium frank, uh, frankincense. I said, did I say frank... Uh, uh, Fragrances, fragrances or frankincense? Did, what did I say earlier? I think I said frank, frankincense, um, but it could be fragrances. I think I said that wrong. Yes, fragrances. So apologize for saying that earlier. I thought it said frankincenses, and I was like, that's interesting. That's biblical, <laughs> biblical stuff. <laughs> so I was reading too fast, so I apologize for that. Uh, um, her name, The name of her company is Aroma ology and it's it's a great company anyway you can put this all over your body it's probably can be used on your hit on your hair your face your body and it's healthy for you as you know our bodies are just one big organ you know so uh when you put healthy stuff like this on your body it's just gonna make it better it's not gonna make it worse so that's for everybody women men and um Let's see what else. Well, you know what? Uh, she also gave me a pumpkin pie hair and body butter. So this smells really good. It smells amazing. Hair and body butter. Pumpkin pie. You, you would never think this would be um, something that you would want to use but it is and then last but not least we have beard and stash oil this is for the fellas i uh, love i love the the logo right here with the mustache or whatever i could never grow a mustache that thick i could but it would it would it's t my hair on my beard is beautiful and it's great here but when it comes to the mustache it always grows like a a white Spanish person. So it's like, you know, it doesn't get coarse, you know, it's not coarse enough to wh where you can do that. It grows thick, but it, it never, I can never seem to get it to do that right here. So I like that. I think I, if I just keep letting it grow and quit cutting it and trimming it, it probably, I probably can get away with this. But uh, for now, I like to look at least a little bit trim and, um, but I'm seeing this logo isn't going to make me want to, you know, go out and try to figure this out with hair in real life. Okay. What am I saying? I'm rambling. Um, rustic wood, beer, beard and stash oil. And the ingredients in this is almond oil, coconut oil, avocado, and some other stuff. And let me tell you, I saw her make this tonight. I saw her make this in her lab. He, she literally gave me the ingredients. She knew what the measurements were. And she made this stuff from scratch tonight. And it was just amazing. It smells amazing. Um, and you can go to her website. Her website should be um, up now. And if it's not, it will be up or has been up th throughout the program and throughout the podcast. And if you're listening and you can't see... Uh, you can always watch this episode on the CJC Network. CJC Network is available everywhere, as um, as well as you can watch this episode on YouTube. We now have these episodes up on YouTube on our CJC page. The CJC uh, Network page always has the Carl Jackson podcast uh, episodes 
So if you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple iTunes, you can, or any of the other uh, what, um, podcast um, platforms that you listen to, uh, we you can actually see what I just described. And it's great. It's really great stuff. Um, so how about we do this? How about we go uh, to her lab right now and let you guys see a little bit of how she creates all this stuff. Let's go to that video right now. Everything I make is homemade. My recipes that I've created. This is going to be my tea line that I'm coming out with. But yeah, I make everything. She's literally making me a beard oil right now. A beard oil yes. from scratch right now. Yes. Get some of the fragrance. This, this smells so great right here. The candles. And then this is one of the ones that I'm... Rustic Wood Hair and Body Butter. Her website, her website will be on the screen. She has a wonderful business. Supply room, labels. You know, what's the gloves for? Gotta be clean and sanitary. COVID. Not only COVID, period. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this? It smells medicinal. Mm -hmm. It's called eczema bomb. And what does it do? It um, heals your eczema. And it, t it literally takes it away. I've, I've got reviews on my website where people said like after three or four days, they noticed the difference and eventually it went away. Wow. Yep. I have aloe butter with aloe butter. Wow. Look, it smells good. And there's no scent in it. Then under that, I have whipped shea butter. No, whipped shea and aloe butter. What sets me apart is that most people buy their base and just add fragrances for the body butters. I make my base from scratch. Wow. Yeah. Because the base is where all the bad stuff is at. Right. If it if there right. Cause they is just toxic puts... ingredients right. in it. So my my base is just shea butter. And I add um, almond oil, jojoba macadamia nut and um sometimes hemp seed oil so it, it's just a i ch changed the variation of the ingredients depending on what i wanted to provide or wanted to benefit you for and it's healthier because you're not just putting a, a flavor or a smell or a scent no. over a bad base no the base wow. is all natural Wow. All plant-based. It's all plant-based. The base of all of my um, products are plant-based. Wow. Even my candles are soy. Soy-based candles. Yeah. I'm getting me some beard oil right now. <laughs> These, what is this called? It's called Moringa. Uh-huh. And it has more vitamins and nutrients than just about any thing on the planet as far as more potassium this is moringa this is the herb these are just seeds this is the herb and you make tea out of it but i grow it too so these are the seeds and the seeds listen to the seeds if you had water that's undrinkable put the seeds in it it will sterilize the water yeah yep Oh my god. That's how powerful this herb is. So we need to send that to Flint, Michigan. Mar <laughs> Girl, <laughs> to clear up the <laughs> Oh, the lead in the water. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> wow. And see, people never even heard of my I've never heard of it. No. Until now, I've never heard of it. Yeah, wow. sarsaparilla. This is sarsaparilla tea. If you're deficient in iron, this is what you need. Sarsaparilla. Wow. I can name, start going off. <laughs> so which one that you were mentioning to me that if you didn't have any herb, you, herb this is the if one. If you that... didn't have anything left, no food or anything, you can drink, you can take Moringa. It will sustain you or bee pollen because it's, it has all the nutrients you need to survive if you didn't have no food. Um, 
I love what she, what we just uh, watched on the video. Uh, she's an amazing person. I can't say enough about her. And I wanted to end this segment to talk about um, this wonderful, it's a stick or a sage stick. It's Palo Santo wood stick. A Palo Santo wood stick. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, um, she sells those, um, she sells sage and things like this. And what I liked about this is because it's called, what I like about it is it's called Holy Wood. Um, and it's recognized uh, by its strong scent of pine and mint and lemon. And it is um, commonly used for, you know, energy cleansing. Um, it heals basically people. Um, who are going through all sorts of emotional issues. Um, and it basically just heals you spiritually. Um, and I know a lot of people feel weird about this type of stuff. And they want to say that it's, some people might see it as it's deemed, they might deem it as something that's evil or, you know, you shouldn't use this type of stuff. It brings familiar spirits in your home and blah, 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 blah. But what I found to be interesting is um, it's always interesting how people will use this stuff and say that it's evil in some weird way that God created this. They always try to make it seem it's, it's evil or weird. But then if you hear a preacher or a pastor speak or someone who says they are of God speak, all of a sudden that person is, is supposed to be deemed as great. When in fact, a lot of people who are saying they work for God are the ones that are evil. So, you know, how do you how do you say that this is evil or this can be used for evil when the truth is um, everyone at some point, I guess, can be seen as doing something evil? You know, it just depends on the intent. And I think it's the same way with the things that are made and created by nature. Uh, when something is made by nature, um, it's, in my mind, made from God. And the intent of it is really always great. It's never used, you know, to be used for negativity. Now, it can be used for negativity. Obviously, anything can be used for negativity. But I think there are certain things that are sacred, like this, that is really used to help create a wonderful atmosphere. So for people who are interest, interested in that type of stuff, I think you should look into this as well as her other Sage um, um, products that she has that if you want to cleanse your home or just have your home smell better or feel better or just want to do more research on it and maybe you want to try different things that you've researched then this is the site to go to. What I like about her site, and she's not paying me to do this. I just want to make this clear. This is not a paid um, advertisement in any way. Um, but I wanted to support this company because I've watched her over the years grow her company into a huge um, force to be reckoned with. And I don't like to promote companies which is why I really don't do a lot of promotional stuff. I don't like to promote companies that I don't believe in, right? Like if it's something about the company or the person that runs the company that doesn't set well with me, then I just prefer not to, you know, have any association with it, even if they are paying me uh, or if, even if they want to pay me. And it's hard when, like with television networks, at times you have to, you know, we have a television network um that's playing behind me, CJC, by the way, that's CJC that's playing behind me. Um, and it's hard when, when it's a network because networks have to pay bills and sometimes they play commercials that, I don't know, drug commercials or things like that, that might be a little bit off-putting for, for myself personally. But um, and, but I think it's, it's for each individual to use their own discretion in whatever they do. And that's in anything in life, you know, it's, it's always best to use your own discretion. So, but for me, um, or I should say, so for me, I'm always excited about promoting companies that want to help people heal, to want to help people grow, to want to help people become better at their life. Um, 
because life in itself can be very, um, I don't want to, I don't want to use the word difficult, but life can be very challenging at times. And those challenges are to make us stronger. I do believe that. And, but sometimes challenges can be overwhelming. And so I think the more we can do things that will eliminate a lot of stressful moments um, or situations or events or um, processes, um, the more we can eliminate the stress of those things, then the better. Um, you know, I don't think there is no one particular magic whatever that makes your life become better except for one thing and that is your brain and your and your emotions and your spirit and your belief system so if you believe in something um and you believe in it and it's positive thinking it's positive things that you're thinking about at all times and yeah it can definitely help make your life navigate in the right direction um so these products i believe can help you guys in many different ways as you go through life trying to figure out how to navigate through your, I call them challenges, because some things are meant to grow you. Some things are, are meant to help you grow. That's a better way to say it. Um, you know, resistance is, there are lessons in resistance. When something is, when you push through something and have to face it, you're learning and you're growing in that as well. So everything is not meant to harm you it's all meant to challenge you and to help you grow and to help you become uh, a better person. And so these products to me, this podcast to me, um, was the perfect, this podcast was the perfect opportunity for me to talk about things like this because it's, it's holistic stuff. I think her company is amazing. I can't even believe how good, how great this stuff smells. I keep correcting myself and I keep saying good instead of great. My daughter is always, she's seven years old. She'll be eight in a few week in a few weeks. And she's always telling me, don't use the word good, but instead use the word great. So I'm always correcting myself because I have to do it when I'm around her. So anyway, try these products, go to her website, um, you're going to find something on her website that you're going to want to buy. Trust me. You're not going to regret going to her website. And, um, yeah, you're going to, you're really going to enjoy this stuff. I really do believe that you're going to enjoy, um, you're going to enjoy her products. I'm putting them back in my bag. I'm trying to decide which one I want to use tonight. Or in the morning and um, I think I'm gonna use the hmm mahogany I think I'm gonna use the mahogany beard balm in the mahogany use this mahogany stuff it smells great I mean it's unbelievably um, clean in the smell it's just it smells like heaven you know, God created, when God created earth, he created some amazing things for us, you know, like he really did go all out for us. And I think we should take advantage of this stuff instead of using all the things that are negative, our synthetics, putting stuff in our bodies that wasn't created by the creator. Instead of us using that stuff, we should really, really look into how we can use better products and drink better water and, and, and take um, better care of ourselves as we navigate through life. So anyway, um, I think I've said enough about the company. And uh, tonight's episode is going to be really short. I didn't want this to be a long episode. I wanted to really just talk about her company and give her some um some love and, and promotion. And we were even going to talk, we were, we were planning, we're planning on doing an interview, an extensive where she can really just break down all the stuff that she knows that can help you guys. Uh, we would have done it when we recorded the B roll for this particular episode, but, um, I really, really wanted to have people go to the site 
and buy and look up who she is and her products first. I think that's very important. And then we can have her come back uh, at a later time, perhaps, and just really talk about uh, her products. But I think if you try her products and see and read some of the reviews of her products, then it's going to make it even a more exciting interview when we do, uh, you know, have that interview at some point. Um, and so, yeah, I was going to do it tonight, but I was like, you know, or what I, I was going to say, I would have loved to have had her interview tonight, but, um, I just thought we should do B roll and, and, and just, I just wanted to talk about it and really get people to go to her site first and buy some stuff. And then when she comes that way, when she comes, there is really a, um, a, a real conversation. People can really, really go, hey, you know, I, I bought your products. I heard Carl talking about it. And I have, you know, if you guys have questions, maybe we can do it live that night and just really go into it and just really let her um, help you guys out in certain scenarios or in certain uh, things that questions that you might have, scenarios that you might have that you want to run by her to help, you know, as you grow and try to become more holistic. I think, I really believe that as we get more and more into this new world, I call it the COVID world, that we're going to be needing people like her to help us navigate through some of this stuff. No matter what they tell us, whatever, whoever they are, um, God is infinite in wisdom and infinite in, in um, resources that can help us get through and navigate through almost anything. There's nothing that man can create, whether it's a, a virus or whether it's, a, I guess, a solution for the virus. Some people call that vaccines. Um, there's nothing that man can create that God did not make that was far greater. Um, so I think that if we focus on that and focus on how we can just live our lives in the most purest way, then none of that stuff really matters, you know? None of the, none of the other stuff really matters. If you want to hear about positive, want to hear about negative things, there are plenty of other television networks that you can watch that will give you all the negativity that you want to hear. But I had made a promise to myself and mainly to just to myself and to the one that is upstairs, the God that created us, um, I just made a promise that if I was going to own these television networks and, and really try to, you know, make this company grow, I was going to do everything I could in my power within reason to make sure that everything was as positive as possible. Um, not religious, not Christian, not none of this, but just positive, um, wholesome, um, family, um, focus themed product projects and movies and television series that I think will help you guys navigate through life. You know what I mean? So, um, I think we we're accomplishing that here. I, I hope that we're accomplishing that. And I hope that you guys are seeing that as you watch, watch my podcast and as you watch this network. So, um, that's always been my goal. That's always been my purpose. I feel um, I haven't always, you know, made the mark. I've, I've never. I haven't always, you know, um, I've had my challenges. I put it that way. It's been challenging at times, and you know, I've made mistakes in the process of trying to create positivity. But for the most part, my heart and my spirit and my desire is in the right place, and that is to help you guys and help all of us. Um, navigate out of the the negativity that we call life in some way um the stuff that we hear and that it's just so toxic to get away from all that and just really focus on how we can better our lives for the next generation this generation but also definitely the next generation so i hope that i am doing that when i do these podcasts and i've been enjoying doing this podcast on the road I think Atlanta is my last stop, and then we're going to be back in studio and back doing the podcast the way I normally do it at, at our studios in California, and um, 
I think we're almost down to the last <laughs> couple of episodes before we have have a season finale of season five. I mean, season five has been an has been an amazing season. I don't know which season is the best. Is it, was it season three, four, or five? I think they've all been great. Season four was my favorite uh, season up until this season. Now season five is like a. I think they're both equally liked by me. I like them both equally. We've we've had some amazing guests, uh, some amazing conversations, and um, um, season five is almost over, and I'm actually planning on doing four more of these, four more seasons. I've already made a decision that it's season 10. That's it. I'm going to do 10 seasons seasons of this podcast. So I got about another four years of podcasts to do. And um, and then I think I'm going to hang it up and, and, and do something different. I will always have the podcast, I think, um, and, but it'll just be more like a special edition episode here and there. But it won't be a, uh, you know, a recurring weekly or whatever thing. It'll just be whenever I feel like doing a special edition, I'll just do one. Um. But yeah, I think this season has been great, and uh, there's more great stuff to come, and I'm just thankful that you guys watch us on CJC. I'm thankful that you listen to us on CJC Radio. I'm thankful that you, and if you don't know how to go to CJC Radio, some people always ask, how do I listen to CJC Radio? You go to cjctv.net and click on the radio tab at the bottom, and that's how you listen to CJC Radio. You can hit that link. Um, on your phone, tablet, and um, or your computer, and you can listen to it even in the car. You can actually listen to it in the car if you know how to use your Bluetooth. So there's many ways to listen to CJC Radio. We did have an app, and we decided not to use the app anymore because um, I was very concerned that um, if we wanted to navigate certain subjects or whatever, if it ever came out and people, if we were ever threatened to not talk about something or, or to do whatever, we just wanted to have the power to control that versus having, you know, an app store um, mediator that tells us we're not going to carry your, you know, at some, t- at some point they could just say we're not going to carry your, your app. And so we just decided, you know, to t- we, we did have an app and we decided to get rid of the app and just strictly make it online. Anytime you want to listen to it, anytime you want to listen to CJC Radio, you can listen to CJC Radio um, and just make it web-based. And it's working so far, and we hope that people will continue to listen. And as technology changes and advances, we will figure out other ways to also promote CJC Radio in different, you know, in a different form. Uh, we might even create CJC Radio so that you can start listening to it on some of the same places that you watch CJC television. So, like, if you watch us on Distro TV or local now or whatever, um, at some point we might even make the radio service, um, we might offer that radio service uh, as a separate thing. Uh, So we'll see how that plays out. But in the meantime, um, you can listen to the podcast on CJC Radio. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, and all the other places that you listen to podcasts, all right? So thank you for listening tonight. Thank you for watching us tonight. And you can catch old episodes of the Carl Jackson Podcast on YouTube as well. And uh, I'm very, very happy to see how many people that actually go to YouTube and watch the episodes. Some of you guys just found it. I didn't even, I have never been really promoting YouTube and our uh, uh, episodes on YouTube. And so, but people have found it and been looking and watching. And so, um, it's been great to see that, um, and see the numbers starting to kind of rise a bit on people who are looking at it. YouTube is a great VOD for old episodes. Um, and I think it's YouTube is a great way for a lot of people to watch us, watch the, watch the podcast. So anyway, um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And until next time you be blessed. Peace. From Atlanta.